and stakeholders in the cooperative sector says that there is need for training programs for such groups, as the case was during the time of former President Kenneth Kaunda. Here's a report. The idea of cooperatives was first birthed around 1914 in Zambia. And so, in post-independence Zambia, the idea was rolled out countrywide during former first president Kenneth Kaunda's time. Dr. Kaunda's government then invested a lot of money into this sector and the idea was to strengthen cooperatives. Then came Kaunda saying uh, people should form cooperatives. And he said, I've set aside 54 million pounds. Okay? I've set aside 54 million pounds uh, to support all groupings of people who are going to, to, to be grouped into a cooperative. I'm told Dr. Kaunda revised the idea for the existence of cooperatives with the aim of making them self-sustaining. Kaunda decided to say we should form the Zambia Cooperative Federation and charge it with the responsibility of overseeing the activities around cooperative enterprises and uh, also to become the, the institution responsible for the development and promotion of cooperatives. But over the years, many cooperatives have gone back to being too reliant on government for survival. This is a situation which now demands attention. Cooperatives should evolve from mere receiving of farmer input support program uh, into being a more viable uh, enterprise. If you are a cooperative and you want to thrive, the membership should buy into the vision and uh, put monies together and that is what has made us have two high buses. That is what has made us now be able to buy uh, four farms. According to Mr. Chira, there are currently over 60,000 registered cooperatives in the country. Only 30% of them are operating as they should. Kasabula Mchimba, ZNBC News in Lusaka.